Hi, I'm Fred McNeil, and you're watching QAC TV 7. Hey, we're going to talk about a real exciting event. It's called Dancing for the Future. You have a chance to see some great dancing with local couples and raise some money for our young children in the community. I'm delighted to have with me Mrs. Cindy Todd. Cindy, thank you for being with us. Thank you, Fred. And Daryl Calloway, who for the third time tonight I've called the Gene <laughs> Kelly, Fred Astaire of Queen Anne's County. Cindy, tell me all about this Dancing for the Future. Well, Dancing for the Future. This is the second year that we were having this event, and it's at the Chesapeake Bay, Chesapeake Bay Beach Club. And the uh, the idea behind the event is to support Queen Anne's County education. Um, and the goal of it is to raise much-needed funds to support our students' education in Queen Anne's County, focusing on technology, cultural arts, and athletics. So the good news is all this money we raise is going to go to help our children. Absolutely. Now, Daryl, what actually is going to happen that night? It's going to be a night when people come together from all over Queen Anne's County and beyond. We're going to have spectacular dancing on stage, but the public will be around cheering and clapping and participating in some ways themselves, raising money for our kids right here in Queen Anne's County. So it's just going to be a fun night. Yes, it is. Okay. Now, Cindy, who are some of the people that we're going to see? And again, while you're looking that up, we're talking Dancing for the Future, Saturday, November 21st. It's going to be from 7 to 11 p.m. at the Chesapeake Bay Beach Club. And who's some of these exciting couples dancing? So we're very excited about our dancers. We have stars who are within our county, okay. and then we have our professional dancers. So the first one, name I'm going to read is going to be our star dancer. Okay. So one of our star dancers is Sarah Rosendale. Now, explain to me, what's a star dancer? Are they star... professional dancers? Or? No, there's okay. someone in our community okay. that people know that are excited oh, okay. about dancing, oh, okay. and then right. are excited about our kids, All right. and right. they're really excited about raising funds for our kids and so uh so sarah rosendale is one of our stars and she's dancing with alex walls okay our next star is sheriff gary hoffman i think you know who he is and he is dancing with Kristen tyler all right who is right here who's right, our dance this is teacher our and whose studio we're filming in right now absolutely and then dr eric klotz okay and he is our doctor at the er and in, in town here or at well, yeah, in town and then he's dancing with sherry smigo uh, Carrie Simmons, who actually works at Chesapeake Bay Beach Club, and she is dancing with Kevin Reagan, who is out of Ken Island High School. We are working, and also our attorney in town, Pat Palmer, okay. and he is dancing with Aaron Nooney, also out of Ken Island High School, uh, and our commissioner, Robert Bucky. And he is dancing with Jennifer Gooding. And that I want to see. I want to see Commissioner Bucky <laughs> dancing. This will be fun. It's going to be a lot of fun. It's going to be a lot of fun. He's very excited about it. Okay. Very excited about participating. And he's a Redskin fan. But and there you go. Okay. There you go. <laughs> Our next doctor in town is Dr. Patricia Boyer. And she is dancing with yours truly. Carol Graham. Dr. Lucky me. That's okay. right. <laughs> and then we also have Billy Faust. Mr. Billy Faust. He is our star dancer. And he is dancing with Ann Duald. And uh, then we have Jack Higginbaum who is from PRS uh, Guitars, and he is dancing with Daryl's lovely... Better half. Better half. They're working hard, too. Okay. That's a great routine and coming up. Working. Yes, absolutely. And we're very excited because Jack's able to bring us a guitar. Oh, wow. So Which we will auction off or we'll somehow contribute. Off great. At, at the evening as well. So it's very exciting. Uh, then our last three is Frank Plummer. He is our star, and he is dancing with Irene Felker. Uh, we have our principal here at Queen Anne's High School, uh, Jackie Wilhelm. And she is dancing with Mike Felker. Okay. And then we have Mary Lou Sharp and Mike Sharp. Now, it sounds like some great people. It's going to be a lot of fun. Absolutely. Now, Daryl, when people come that night at 7 o'clock down at Chesapeake, what are they going to see? Give us a little routine what it's going to be like. Well, the room is as glitzy as you all get out. It's a wonderful it looks like place. A ball. Absolutely. Okay. It was featured on USA Today as the wedding destination to come to. Okay. So the room by itself is an attraction. But once you step into the room, it's another world. There will be glitz, people having a great time, lots of dancing. And just a, just a nice, wonderful time all evening for the benefit of our kids in Queen Anne's County. Oh, it sounds like fun. Now, Cindy, let's remind everybody, if they're, they're, they're thinking about, hey, you know, this dancing for the future sounds like a pretty cool thing. November 21st, yeah, it's before the holiday season Absolutely. really starts. And it sounds great. Where will they go if they want to know how they can contribute money, how they can vote and learn more about it? Absolutely. So we have a website. It's www.dancingforthefuture.com. i do that one more time. www.dancingforthefuture.com. 
Com. And they can go to that and they can pay on that site? You can pay on that site with a credit card to vote for your favorite dancers. All of the dancers that I just named are listed, and you can vote for them. And that is how our fundraising works. Okay. And you can also go get online and get a seat for the event, which we were sold out last year. So they year. better get on because we're talking November 21st. It's going to come mighty quickly. Absolutely. 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 Um, we also, if we could mention our Please. Mature Community Foundation. Sure, let's talk about it. Yeah, they are, they are who we are doing the dance through. Mature Community Foundation. Foundation is who is our 501c3 and is assisting us with this event, and we could not be doing it without them. Oh, it sounds great. Daryl, give us a sneak preview now. Uh, don't give any secrets, but what my type of dance routines might we see? We have such a great variety, it might surprise you. We have the Devil Went Dance, uh, what is that called? The Devil down Went Down to Georgia. Oh. There you go. <laughs> Somebody went to Georgia. <laughs> that's right. We have In the Mood, the World War II uh, number, Glenn, Glenn Miller. Miller. That's right. Great. We have Jailhouse Rock, Elvis okay. Presley. We have Grease, the musical. So we have a, a quite a variety plus a bolero if you've never seen it here's your chance to see a bolero so lots of variety Fred and the format go over the format so if we arrive I guess people come a little bit early before 7 right there's a, a few minutes for people to come in and get organized but by 7 30 the dancing begins and be, how's actually night gonna go we'll have six couples dance first and then we'll have an intermission okay. the last six couples dance and then we'll have a short exhibition some general dancing while the judges are tabulating their results and then we announce the big winners and we will be giving away four places for the 12 couples. Now, do me a favor. This crystal ball on for explain. Someone tell me about this. That, yeah, this is so. This is one of the trophies. This is one of the trophies from last year, and there will be a judges' choice award, and then there will th be three people's choice awards. Um, and the but judges' choice is is the judge picks the dancing that they think, they is, think the best. is the best. And the people's choice awards are the people who raise the funds, who have okay. raised the highest funds of all the teams. So they and they all go home with this type of stuff. Absolutely, oh, right. absolutely. And these are made actually. These are made by students in Queen Anne's County. All right. So that's just more exciting because the kids really like, had fun making them and as well. It sounds like a wonderful event. Let's go over the whole thing again. Cindy, okay. go right down the list again. All right. So Dancing for the Future, it is the 21st of November, Saturday, from 7 to 11 p.m. at Chesapeake Bay Beach Club. Uh, and the website is www.dancingforthefuture.com. And we want to remind everybody out there, you sold out last year. Absolutely. And, and about a month before. Okay. And all the money goes to the children in this community. Absolutely. Now, Fred, it's important for people to know we have 12 couples. That's 24 dancers. If if you know any of these dancers, go onto the website and vote. Each dollar equals one vote, and you can help your favorite dancer win this competition and raise money for our children. Okay. It sounds like a great night. I can't wait to see it. I hope you'll join us Saturday, November 21st, 7 to 11 p.m., Chesapeake Bay Beach Club. A great event. And remember, not only are you going to see some great dancing, but you're going to see this event benefit our children. Well, Cindy, thank you very thank much. Thank you. Daryl, thank you very thank much. You, Fred. This is Fred McNeil. And thank you for watching QAC TV7.